is a very, 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 very dangerous, you know, to the body, as they talk about, uh, anyways, you know, there was a time, um, at my wrist, they, they kind of, they didn't break, but they, I, I sprained my wrist because of dumb things or whatever, and, you know, my mus my muscles were actually getting, actually, I didn't even know it, but, you know, that, that's the thing, with nutrition and exercising is really, really crucial, the, the things you eat, the nutrition, the nutritional value about foods, it's really crucial increasing your metabolism, increasing the amount of muscles, increasing your muscular hypertrophy, the muscle fiber expansion, muscle fiber too, have a higher capacity to grow, muscle fiber expansion, higher muscular hypertrophy too, just as well, along with the blood vessels supplying energy to buy, supplying oxygen to the body cells and muscle tissue, along with the red blood vessels supplying oxygen to the body cells and muscle tissue, is very, 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 very important that I wanted to talk about. I want the metabolites being made, increasing your metabolism, the major, the major thing, you know, a lot are being made. So, get to the point where you have a low amount of metabolites being made, you have a low metabolism, it's not as strong and efficient, it's not as fast, and what what do I mean by this? So, we'll be talking about cutting bulk, and what, what's the, what are the fastest ways to lose fat? This is not a video about the, fast, the fastest ways to lose fat, but I'm going to be talking about this. So, cutting intermediate fasting, we talk about cutting your carbohydrate intake down. We talk about caloric deficit is also a major way to decrease the amount of fat composition. It's really reboot your metabolism to get down to a good deficit where you burn all the fat if you don't have many calories. So it's not really hard for your body to burn fat when you don't have many calories. It's really, really, really easy because it's not working overtime. You have to do little, little amounts of activity, but sometimes you don't have to do any activity at all and you still burn off calories, but you're not, you're not granted that. You're not promise that when you have a lot of calories because if I mean if you you don't burn off it's going to be stored as fat but if you can burn off just by your diet imagine how many calories you can burn, burn off by exercising that's the major major thing and also by not focusing on you know doing working out with you know weights we're, we're doing you know push-ups things that increase our muscles but the thing about that it's not going to do anything when the fat when the fat is all over our muscles, it's deteriorating the muscle. We need to get rid of that fat so far so we can actually increase the amount of muscle tone, muscular hypertrophy, so we can increase the amount of vascularity too as well, decrease the amount of fat levels too, and have the correct energy too, as the right nutrition, have the right you know, exercising program, which usually cardio is, is best in high intensity interval training. It's true that intensity training, you know, that little kind of, I would say, hit. And then intensity training, that would come way after that. Because that's, that's on a whole new level, you know, when you start relying on, you know, when you start relying on, you know, equipment, start doing stuff like, like dips, when you do pull-ups, when you do all that. That's not going to have any benefit on you. That's not going to have any effect on you if the muscle is being covered by fat. It's just being deteriorated. Start growing back. Start increasing your muscular hypertrophy. But the only way you do that if you decrease the amount of fat level in your body. The amount of body composition in your body. You need to decrease that. Really. Seriously. That's the major thing. People look at this and they're like, oh, I'm 400 pounds and uh, I do uh, I do a five, 300 deadlift or whatever. Y yeah, you think that's going to you think that's gonna do anything? No, you have to eliminate that fat so you can start focusing on the muscle in the body. That's the major thing when I talk about this is people have really dull ideals. People have really mixed ideals about how to lose weight, about how to gain muscle. And I'm kind of trying to, you know, tell people you know, the, the correct way to do it. But to this well, you know, cutting, cutting the amount of portions you have. It's not starving. Cutting the amount of portions the amount of foods going down to caloric deficit. It's all, it's all crucial. You know, carbohydrates is all crucial and cutting your carbohydrate, it's all crucial and getting down to a caloric deficit. Whether it's carbohydrate decreasing the amount of that because, you know, if, if you keep increasing it, you're, you're taking a lot of it. It's just going to be stored as fat and not as energy. You cannot burn it off. So you cannot burn it off. It's going to add to the body composition. The unneeded body composition in your body. So that's a major thing in that when we talk about cutting, what is cutting and bulking? So, and what we're going to be talking about intermediate fasting as well. You know, changing the amount of duration, changing the time when you eat, or skipping meals, getting to a clock zone when you're not eating, and you have little calories, so it's easier to burn fat off, burn the calories off, too, just as well. You know, solely relying on your body and not relying on exercising. Just solely relying on nutrition can do so much, but solely relying on exercising and the right exercise program can do so much more. 
you know, it, 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 it can add to it. So we go from a metabolism that is not as efficient, that is low. No metabolites are being made. A low metabolic rate is being made. The function of the process of metabolism is not going on. usually constipated. You're bloated. You're inflamed too. There's a lot of problems, you know, w with your body. The same thing too, just as well, you know, whether... The main major thing is about the caloric intake. Then that too. Hypercaloric intake when, when you cannot intake a lot. But increasing your metabolism with nutrition and with the proper energy... With all of that, you can increase your metabolism to get to a point when you increase, you know, start digesting a lot of calories when you couldn't do that before because it gains as fat, it stores as fat, but to the point where it does not store as fat, but it stores as energy, and you can burn off, and the metabolism, the metabolites, they keep growing, and along with that, <laughs> metabolites keep being made, so metabolism is still growing, it doesn't be, it's not stunted, so it keeps going further on and further on and further on and further on. That's the, that's the major thing we look at this too, we look at cutting and bulking, you know, bulking, what is bulking? It's really just increasing the amount of calorie intake. But two, it's not eating trash food. It's not eating trash food. There's nothing for, for your body but destroy your organs. You know, it leads to high cholesterol. It leads to high blood sugar, high blood pressure, to a liver failure, bad liver function, premature death, too. It's just LDL, cholesterol spikes. We've got narrowed arteries. We look at clogged arteries, too, you know, where there's a plaque buildup in there and creating to the, the fat. So, you know, the good fat, the... Monosaturated fats in the body are not flowing correctly because there's too much fat. And because of that saturated fat, how dense it is and how dangerous it is, it creates that fat buildup. The, when, we, when we look at that, it creates that plaque buildup too. In the arteries, it narrows them and, and usually leads to narrow arteries, clogged arteries, and heart attack too, and strokes. It leads to all that kind of stuff. I'm going to be talking about fats in the next video that I do. This video is going to be solely about the metabolism. Getting to a point where you, your metabolism is not as efficient, not as strong, it's not as fast. But increasing your metabolism, you have a hypotonic state, low amount of muscle tone, hypertonic state, get to hypercaloric state, hypertonic state, with a higher amount of muscle tone, high muscle, muscle, muscle muscular hypertrophy, two to small muscular growth, and, you know, muscle fibers too, growth from muscle fiber one, small complex, low capacity growth, higher capacity growth too, just as well, it's very, very crucial, increasing your metabolism. And along with the metabolites being made and with the action being delivered by cells and tissue, because they are going to grow. If they do not get that, if they do not get the action that's delivered to the body cells and tissue, supplied by the red blood blood cells, you know, the heart helps it out with giving the action to red blood cells. And also the blood vessels too delivered to the body cells and tissue to make sure that they, they do not deteriorate is something really crucial. That's why I wanted to talk about it with fast food you guys say. So we look at any fasting and cover that. We talk about Cutting, cutting the amount of calories you have, cutting the amount of intake you have, of caloric intake getting out, down to a caloric deficit. We have low amount of calories, easier to burn fats. So you can reset your metabolism, you can go from low metabolism to higher metabolism to where it cannot burn off the, the nutrients and utilizes energy and keep growing your metabolism at that point on. But where it's really something that's not growing at all, it's really, you know, we're, we're cutting comes in good. And the low metabolism with the high metabolism to increase your caloric intake slowly but gradually increasing it with along you know as nutrition is supplying there as and as energy is supplied from the nutrition you know there's going to be a lot of metabolites being made there's going to be far more than a low amount of metabolites to be higher amount of metabolites to be made your metabolism is going to be functioning on a whole new level where it's a high metabolism where you can burn off the energy and utilize energy but keep growing your metabolism but that that's what that's up to you i mean if you literally just want to burn off the calories if you if you really just want to burn the calories and utilize it as energy and not growing more metabolites and not growing your metabolism at all, listen, that's up to you. I mean, people, you have shit nutrition. That's not going to do shit. It gets you up to a point. Yeah, do, do you know why? Because you can burn off the energy and utilize You can burn off the nutrients and utilize it as energy. But nutrition is going to come in you know, very, very, very later. Nutrition is very, very important for our body. That's why I try to preach on Brian Sager Fitness along with... You know, with nutrition, exercising, you know, staying healthy, living healthy is is what I promote. Intensity is great capacity. When, when we look at that quote, you know, it's been shit like two two years on YouTube, or whatever. But yeah, we're gonna be wrapping up this video to bulking. That's really what bulking and cutting in hypocaloric state to a hypotonic state with low amount of muscle tone and a low amount of calories, and it leads to a higher Increasing rate of fat rather than energy, you know, being released from the foods and the same as that being required 
too, just as well to burn it off and use less energy, but not burn the fat off and using it as fat, using the nutrient, using the the food as fat rather as energy to burn off and getting your metabolism fat point on. That's basically bulking. And that's the thing I want to talk about in this video. I hope you guys like this video. You know, like, subscribe, view this, I hope. Anyways, I uh, love you guys. See you another day.